Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am filming a book review. I am going to review Finding My Voice by Marie Mayon O.K. Lee. This one is being released on the 1st of December. It is actually not the first time it is being released. It was actually released for the first time in 1992, which is scary and interesting considering the themes in this book. And not a lot has changed. So there we had that. This one is an own voices YA contemporary novel. Oh wait, is it contemporary when it's written in the 19s? I guess it is. What is even contemporary? It's a coming of age story following Alan Sung, a Korean American teen who is from the only Korean American family in this small town. She is studying really hard to get into Howard and is trying to balance her friends wanting to experience things with them but also studying super hard to get into Howard because that is where her sister went. Her parents want her to be a doctor. She's being bullied at school because it's racism. She also has a crush on this football player named Tomper and he wants to go out with her too and it is very sweet actually. So it is her trying to balance her life with going to college and also her family life and also it's a very, I was, I was going to say standard YA coming of age last year of college book so it's not like if you hear and this is the genre you're usually reading, it's not like anything unheard of. I got this book from Nat Galley, so suddenly I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get anything from there because that page hates me. It was 192 pages long, I read it in one sitting. What to tell you is that it is very fascinating to see that this book written 30 years ago, and I know that 30 years ago is not that long ago, but it's just interesting to see how little has changed because more recent contemporary I have read following the Asian American narrative or the Asian narrative has the same kind of issues, the same racial issues, the same themes in the book and it's very interesting to see that nothing really has changed from that time. I'm not saying that 30 years ago is like ages ago, but it's still quite a few years ago. Like I wasn't born then. And I experienced exactly same things that the main character did here. Exactly same things that they call the main character. People called me when I was in school. <laughs> so I just think it's very interesting to see how racism that some people think apparently is not a thing anymore. I don't know why, but some people think that. To see that it has definitely not. And that the same things are going again and again over many, many years. And that it would take more than three decades for those issues to disappear. And yeah, this book, as I said, is written for a long time ago, but at the time when it came out, I don't think people were ready for it, because now it's coming a lot of books like this, a lot of Asian narratives, especially for young teens, much more than it was before. And I'm so happy because I'm reading a lot of them and it is making my heart happy, just so you know. And other narratives, of course, just focusing on the Asian narrative right now, because that's the theme of the book. It's just so interesting, as I said, to compare that the experience hasn't changed. And that kind of sucks. <laughs> it, it is an interesting look. I'm not saying as again, some people would tell me like, hello, 30 years is not a long time, what do you expect? I didn't expect anything. I just think that reading this book is that it could have been written this year. And that is very interesting, I think that so many things in our society is changing so fast all the time, like technology and mobile phones and the internet and all those things. But there's some things that is just not going away and not changing rapidly. And I'm not saying that it would maybe be not natural at all if it changed rapidly, but I'm saying it is just very interesting to look at it like this. Not that I wasn't aware of before, by the way, now it seems like I am very naive. <laughs> I didn't know about all these things before. I did, I did. I just pointing it out more clearly in this because I just think it's so interesting that this book could have been written, I don't know, yesterday. Except for the fact that, you know, they don't have mobile phones and stuff. They need to call each other and actually literally hang up the phone. <laughs> like things like that, obviously. Like the themes in the book was very accurate. I read several, as I said, Asian books, I don't know what else to call them. And for some reason, parents always want them to be doctors. I guess this, this is normal. And there's this thing that the parents want the kid to fit in so badly that they wanted to have this high prestige job because they want to prove to the society around them that, oh, my kid is super smart, so you can't, what's it called? Outcast them anymore. It doesn't work like that, but it's just a narrative or a, not a plot line, that sounded really weird, but like a thought process that I have experienced several times now reading these kinds of stories. It's not something I ever experienced because every experience is different. I'm not saying every person or every Asian family is going through this. It just seems to be an ongoing theme in a lot of the books I read with Asian narratives. And it's very interesting. I'm not saying it's malicious or anything, just that the parents want them to succeed. But sometimes that can drown out, you know, 
what a kid really want for themselves. And it's very difficult and different from everyone. So yeah, it's just interesting to see, as I said, these things going on again. But I am still glad that this book is getting a new cover this, that is beautiful, very accurate for the other Y covers coming out to this day. So I'm hoping this will find a big audience as it did when it came out back when. I wasn't even born in as I said, so I feel like it's ages ago, but for some it's like... So, what did I like about this book? I feel like I've talked more about like out, out things. <laughs> than like the actual book. I'm really sorry. I did really like, as I said, the character following her journey, seeing her develop and finding, I don't know, love and happiness and studying. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really hard to talk about like the plot in a book like this because it's very much like an inner journey as well as an outside journey, but like mostly an inner journey. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I liked it. I think my biggest issue with the novel was actually the writing. It felt very much jaggered sometimes. Like it didn't flow as nicely as I would want it to. It stopped like suddenly, not like in the middle of the sentence, that sounded very dramatic, but it stopped like, and then we had like these shifts to another scene, just like very suddenly and it didn't feel natural sometimes. And the dialogues and stuff was a bit like, unnatural. The writing did, I wouldn't say ruin the story for me, that sounded very dramatic, but the writing was my least favorite aspect of the story and made me not flow in the story as much as I would wanted to. But that is a personal preference because I'm sure other people would like the writing, but like that was my biggest issue with the book. Other than that, it was an enjoyable story. I love soft family moments and it definitely had that, even though like in the beginning the parents were like from distant and far away, but they have these reconciled moments and they were so soft and I love that more than anything, apparently. I feel like there's not much more to say because it's just a very relevant book today. If you like other Y contemporaries in general and of course if you like to read about Asian girls, woohoo, or Asian people, not necessarily just girls, <laughs> then pick this up. I think that it is very relevant and not just because of its relevance, but also just reading coming of age stories about these great people. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm losing it. I gave the book four out of five stars. I think it was a solid story. And also it was kind of fun that like, they actually had to hang up the phone and stuff. Like, I'm not saying that you didn't notice it was written back when I'm like how I'm like talking about it like it's ages ago but whatever because you did like of course it was relevant to the story but like also if you switched out certain parts like that you would not have noticed the difference I think at least that's my opinion at least after my experience in what I've been reading for the last few years yay okay I'm done here <laughs> pick this book up now when you can with a beautiful new cover I really want it physically because it is pretty I want to support the story. So yay, hope you do too. I don't know what more to tell you. Yay, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and you will see me soon in a new video. Bye bye!